Hi everybody, my name's Kylie. Thank you so much for joining me today here at Little Moo Designs HQ. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install a magnetic snap on your shine on sling bag. So let's get started. What you're going to need for, for this step is some fray stopper. I'm using the E6000 fray lock today. I'm using a chalk pen because my fabric's quite dark just to mark where I need to put my magnetic snap or you could use a friction pen, an air erasable marker. Uh, you will need a really sharp seam ripper like this one. You'll need some tape. I've just got some colored duct tape here. You will need some extra interfacing. So this is Dakerville Heavy. And I use this to sit um, behind my fabric to give my magnetic snap some extra support. You need an off cut or a few off cuts of leather or cork or vinyl. And of course, you need to get your magnetic snap. So this is what your magnetic snap kit should look like. So you'll see these are the two magnetic components that go together and you should also have two washers in your kits they of course come in all different sizes um, the ones I use are just over half an inch nearly three quarters of an inch but I have lots of different sizes here they all do the same thing it's just your preference there are slimline versions these ones aren't that I'm using today this is the uh, the larger version so let's get started. On your pattern piece, you'll find a, a spot um, that tells you where your magnetic snap needs to go. So I've already marked that here. If you can see, I've used my chalk pen. And on the back, I've just fused that extra piece of interfacing to give my magnetic snap the support that it needs. Your next step is to take one of your washers and lay it on that on that mark and you're going to draw some lines in those little washer marks there they are a bit hard to see on that fabric but I can see them here so I'm just then going to take my seam ripper and you're going to rip small holes you don't want these holes too big or your magnetic snap will wobble around so you can see there, I've gone through that interfacing and the fabric, which is going to make this mag snap nice and supported. You're then going to add some fray stop or fray check, whatever product you've got, just over those marks. Like so, so that we don't get fraying. And let that dry for a second and then you're going to take one of your magnetic snap pieces just let that dry okay so you're now pushing the prongs through the marks that you've made that you've cut like so then on the back this is the important part we don't just, I don't recommend that you just put the washer on and fold the prongs, prongs in and then you're done. What I recommend is that over the top of this, you put a piece of leather or a piece of cork or a piece of vinyl. We want to add support so that your bag, when you're opening and closing this lots and lots, it doesn't um, tear your fabric. So I've put a piece of leather, then I'm putting my washer and then I'm going to push the prongs in on top of each other. I then just use my bench and give it a really firm press there. Some can be um, quite tough so you might like to um, use some pliers if needed. I then always worry that the metal might rub through my the outside of my bag fabric so I like to cover the back with a piece of tape. So I just cut a square of the duct tape and cover like so. I then repeat this for the other side of my lining and then you're done. That's how I like to install a magnetic snap. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel because I'll be adding more videos um, 
each week or so. Have a great day. Bye.